Untitled. Welcome to the Untitled Pittsburgh Sports Comedy Podcast on the Bet Rivers Network. We are at the Liveberg Studios. Check them out, livebergstudio.com. But we actually are not in the main studio. We are in the Liveberg Sportsman's Lounge today, John. Mm. Rustic, <laughs> rugged, just a couple of sportsmen talking sports. That's us. A couple of funny guys, too. All right. So, John, for those of you who haven't listened to the last few episodes, John is uh, John is slowly going insane. It's it's totally synced up with his work, his work, his professional life. And I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Everything is fine. That is a well balanced man right there. Look at me. I am. Look. At me. We've also got Ben Stonian with us. Hot guy extraordinaire. That's him. The very same. Well, John, the Steelers have yo-yoed back from an embarrassing, devastating loss to the Houston Texans mm-hmm. and are now on top of the world again. 17-10 winners over those dirty birds from Baltimore. You want to know what's crazy? Hit me. It's like that friend you've known for a long time or romantic partner. You really get to know their habits. I mm-hmm. knew we were going to win the whole <laughs> I did. I really did. I did think that. I'm it, not proud of it. I wasn't like, oh, we're so good. We're gonna. I'm like, we're gonna win. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. We're gonna yeah. F- win this dumbass game. You're right. It was. It's just having observed the rivalry this long. Yep. It wasn't like, well, I think Kenny Pickett's really gonna hit no. his stride here. Yeah. It was just like the sick nature yeah. of these two teams. Also. I'm just going to say it, and if I'm killed in the next few days, this is why Tomlin and Harbaugh have some kind of like weird like phone call yeah. sat every Saturday night before the game, or they go, like Tomlin called Harbaugh and was like, listen, John, I really need this one. There's a lot of, there's a lot of shit going on yeah. up here. It's not good. I'm taking a lot of heat. And then Harbaugh's like, okay, we'll both be above 500. And then later in the year, when Lamar's hurt, you'll drop the game to us. And Tomlin's like, "Yes, of course, of course, right, yes, yes, obviously, we're gentlemen." Yeah, it really does. <laughs> yeah, feels like there's a, sort of an understanding. This is I've been thinking about it, and this is the best analogy I can come up with. Do you remember the series of books, Amelia Bedelia? Yes, I do. Okay, so Amelia Bedelia, as I remember it, she was like a housekeeper for some rich people, and in every book. She screws everything up. Yeah, it's always mass calamity. Everything's messed up. She's like derelict as a housekeeper and a babysitter. Like she she puts kids in danger, but then at the end she wins everybody she back. Somehow does she pulls it all together by right? baking a really great pie. Is that how she always does it? Yes, it's always she makes like some kind of food, like a dessert, uh-huh. and that's how she brings everybody back. They're like, we can't fire you. You make great torts. There's a lot of people out there thinking about their own grandmothers right now. They're like, she insults us. <laughs> she says problematic <laughs> things. She always makes my mom cry, but God damn but, it, that <laughs> that apple cobbler or whatever it is. That, so good. Uh, We're going to keep you in our life, Graham. Yeah. <laughs> As long as as long as long you'll let us. Yeah. So you're saying we Amelia Bedelia that game? We keep doing it. Like right. Kenny Pickett, the offense specifically, Matt Canada, Ooh. whatever, the whole thing is just a disaster. And, like, there's a big difference between finding ways to win. You know, oh, they find ways to win. Right. They're a tough team. You know, they find a way to win. It's hard to do in this league. Yeah. There's a big difference between that and what the Steelers are doing when they win, and it is just like falling down the steps. <laughs> of, yeah, it's a it's a comedy of errors. John, I was at the game. Ooh. I went down to tailgate with some friends. Shout out Red Lot 7D. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna play the game. I'm gonna see what the I'm gonna see what's out there in the world of ticket resale. Mm. Struck out hard. Talked to some uh, talked to some gentlemen outside the stadium. Did the full walk down from the tailgate. Was this as as bad as the the Bay Area people with no, the 49ers but game? Bad, really. Three hundred for singles. Wow. The problem is since we, there are no longer physical tickets, and you don't just have a guy being like, "What do you What are you looking for?" And then going through a deck of physical tickets, it's uh, now so much harder. 
these third party buyers who don't even ever have to go down there and bust their ass and deal with losers like me. You know they what I mean? It. They ruined a cool thing. They ruined it. It was something special. And I think it was a mistake. If I could undo, if I could wave a wand and undo one thing about the Steeler game day experience right now, that would be it. Because it and makes even, it way harder to get into the game. Yeah, and no physical ticket. Like uh, this goes for all events, but like, I want the ticket stub, man. Yeah. Wait. You know, I was actually at that game. Let me bring up in my phone the receipt. Yeah. Here's the email I got. Yeah. It's check not it the out. Actual ticket. It's just the. So you can see the service charge yeah. right there. Isn't yeah. that cool? Yeah. So it was a big. It was a bit of a bummer. So I strike out, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna start walking over to like Soho. But I'm like, I'll walk with one finger in the air mm. and see how it goes. I take three steps. This guy comes up to me. He goes, buddy, I think I got you. All right, man. I'm, are you sure? He's like, yeah, my friend bailed, and uh, I'll take you to the game. My name's Jeff. I'm like, Jeff, let me give you some. I'm Tad. Let me give you some money. He's like, all right, 50 bucks. I'm like, Hell are, yeah. you, are you sure, man? He's like, I've been in Lancaster County the last 33 years, and I just moved back, so I'm back now. And this is just a lot of fun. And I was like, I'm assuming there's a, a woman behind this story. He's like, there's two. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go. So we go in. Jeff hooks it up. So Jeff and Carnegie, if you're out there. Dude, you, Jeff. You are the man. So I, I walk over by the Jumbotron. It's not going well. And I pulled the ripcord. I bailed. Are you serious? I bailed in the third quarter. Bailed hard. Really? Oh, yeah. That's so not like you. No. I felt like I was going to say something and be completely in the wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like one of those things where like a Ravens fan says something and then like the next Ravens fan I see, I say something to them, but it's like a child, you know? Right. Well, you're, yeah, you're still processing like the previous thing. Yeah, like, process, and it's so like, it's like Pittsburgh's actually not that big or whatever. Like something like, yeah, I, like it's pretty small down here. Like what? <laughs> what did you yeah, say? Some innocuous comment. <laughs> Yeah, uh, full shirt tear off. These are the lengths that I've been driven to psychologically. Yeah, are you okay? By I mean, I I'll just say this: Matt Canada and the offense as a as a unit is 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 <laughs> fucking my shit up yeah. right now. Yeah, it's bad, and it sucks so much. Yeah, is Matt Canada the source of it all? I don't know. I'm not an expert. Yeah, I'm not a football expert. We're in the li- We're in the. F- Liveberg Sportsman Lounge right now. Listen, we are the 33rd most popular <laughs> podcast that talks Steelers in this town. And we don't let that go to our heads. We don't. You know, we're humble. Listen, if you want to make change, you need to stand up. And John, I think you know a lot about this. You need to be a change agent. Ooh. So with that in mind, we did the only thing we could do. We cruised Cameo in the $9 and under section, and we paid for testimonials on why Mike Tomlin and the Steelers should move on for Matt Canada. Okay, John, you haven't seen these. Nope. So you're, you're coming at it fresh. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll set this guy up. His name is Gaddis Candace, as far as I can tell. Okay. He was, I think he was like $9, and he was allegedly on Britain's Got Talent. Okay. Here's his message. Hello, Mike Tomlin. My name is Gaddis Candice, and I need to tell you something that everybody's already talking about. You need to fire Matt Canada. Because, you know, he's simply not doing a good job. You know, he he might might have been good before, but not anymore. I am here, you know, just to provide you a valuable perspective in this grassroots campaign, because it is very important. And, uh, you know, and of course, Matt Canada is the offensive coordinator and he's just doing a bad job. Bye. John, what do you think? Reasonable. Pretty you know, knowledgeable. I mean, in this grassroots campaign, what has Matt Canada done to really 
you know, maybe he was good before. He does concede that maybe he was good at one time. He's wrong. Not now. Right. I think my only issue with Gaddis is he doesn't sound very British. Listen, this guy obviously knows a lot about football. He's clearly watched a lot of Steeler games. We we can agree. And he's got a lot of passionate energy. In his eyes. There's something going on there. Yeah. And it's powerful. Right. Kind of like Rasputin. I like that he called him an offense. He's an offensive coordinator. Matt Canada is the offensive coordinator. You know what I mean? Like, he's not the offensive coordinator. He's the offensive coordinator. He pointed out something that I didn't even realize. Yeah. What a delicious slice of wordplay mm. by Gaddis. Right. Gaddis really earns the nine bucks. Okay. I, I, do appreciate, I do appreciate the effort. And I think that when... A transcript of that is printed and placed in front of Mike Tomlin. I think that he'll see things a little differently. Right. I think he'll he'll have some perspective. Yeah. But let's do another one, John. Okay. Let's do another one. Sure. Another hit, another prominent voice from the under $10 section on Cameo. Mm. This guy, what can you say about this guy? I'm asking because I hadn't heard of him. Until yesterday when I was cruising around. I think he's in a heavy metal band. Hey, I'm Redwan Awamar from the band Nella Hell. And this message is for you, Mike Tolman. Fire Matt Canada and get a new offensive coordinator. Smash Dick Full Bush Football. That needs to be the new voice of, <laughs> of SDFB for sure. Clear, simple, simple, mm-hmm. passionate. John, which brings us now to our SDFB player of the game. Smash, dig, ball, push, football. It could only be one man. You know who I'm going with. I'm double dipping. I'm triple dipping. He's Come my. On. He's more often than not my SDFB. It's Jalen motherfucking Warren. Yeah, dude. Dude. He is the people's champ. He really is. I get so fired up. I want to fight people from high school when I watch him run (laughs) the football. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. He will get the first down. And if he doesn't, he's going to punish whoever is in front of him. How about the hurdle? The hurdle. the, The blitz pickup. The... He's just... He's just that guy. It's one of those things. His success makes me. It makes me wonder about all the draft evaluation process. How a dude like him could be undrafted, right? And then how we could draft Benny Snell or Anthony McFarland. Yeah. It's time for another under ten dollar cameo. God, we. I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It's working. I, I think know. it could work. What? What's okay? You're listening at home. What are you doing? Tweeting? Tweeting? Fire Matt Canada? <laughs> like to who? Into the ether for no one? Yeah, we're out. We're out here pounding the pavement. Yeah. Would you get 14 likes on that? Spending four dollars. Yeah. How, what would it take for us to get on Cameo? I uh, think a couple more of those like a viral vir- videos. A viral video series, and it's one of those ones like doing X every day until the Steelers fire Matt Canada, but it's like drinking pee. It's like drinking pee every day, until, like day 397 yeah. of drinking pee until the Steelers fire Matt Canada. Because then that would become our thing, right. and we'd have like John, we'd have like late stage John. This yeah, like. but we're the pee guys, and we're getting nine bucks a pop. <laughs> on Cameo, we're, we're on dialysis. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're drinking. But it's like, a, it's like a full thing. We get the dialysis, but then it comes through like a hose that goes into a beer helmet that goes right and back into like, our mouth. <laughs> a lot of and people are closed like, closed circuit dialysis. Listen, a lot of the haters out there <laughs> say, you're not even drinking pee anymore because it's not touching your mouth. Right. It's just being pumped back through you through a machine. <laughs> And I want you to know that it couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> the families are weeping around. Well, our us. family, they've by this time they're gone because we put ourselves in such danger. Yeah, but we never drink. I want to be very clear. <laughs> we never drink each other's piss. Right. We drink our own piss. Our own because we're is, not animals. Yeah. The point is, John. 
we've we've already spent <laughs> we've already spent upwards of twenty seven dollars on a series of cameos. It's be, it's this is the modern day letter writing campaign. Mm. It's one of the few tools that regular schmoes like you and I have to oh affect change. So here it is, another sub ten dollar cameo encouraging Mike Tomlin to do the right thing. Yo, what's up guys? It's a little Devo. So I make music and I'm a content creator on TikTok and stuff, so you guys may know me from that. But you guys said that you're Steelers fans and that you're living in pain of the Steelers OC Matt Canada, which is a bummer because my dad's dad was actually a Steelers fan, so that would be dope if they could win a Super Bowl. Maybe this like write this dude some letters and try to get him fired so they get a new coach or something because like if he's doing that bad he needs to get out of there he needs to fire him i heard that he like spent a lot of money on players not using them or some shit i don't know i honestly don't know much about football but yeah man i really hope that steelers start doing better man rock on you guys don't you feel don't you feel like we have a friend in little debo he does have black and and blonde hair kind of cool maybe we should try that that is kind of cool yeah you know what if the Steelers get to the AFC championship I will do the little Devo hairstyle okay hell yeah I will do half blonde half black center part center part straighten it you have to straighten it too fine by that point straightening (laughs) it's the least of your problems straightening it you're like oh something to take my mind off of the emotional (laughs) distress that I'm in yeah that's fine if the Steelers just make it, they don't have to win it. All right, just make it. Man, how cool would it be to be Matt Canada and like to like let's even if he keeps his job for the next ten years, great. But like he could never like overcome like nobody's gonna be like oh man we won the Super Bowl with Matt Canada. It would always be in spite of him. Like he's gonna be like <laughs> nobody's gonna be like oh that great call that he made. <laughs> You know, he can't come back. There's yeah. no, there's, not, there's nothing he could do. He could save a child that's, like, being beaten up by a New England... Like, Bill Belichick could be drowning a child. He would have to jump in. And he would have to save him. And the headline would read, Fail, failed play <laughs> caller. Yeah, and they'd be like, he's a great guy. Child. He's just a bad coach. Yeah, that would be the narrative. <laughs> there's nothing he could do to come back. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing this guy could do. All right, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Huge shout-out to Lyberg Studios. Check them out, LybergStudio.com. Huge thanks to our producer, Ben Stonium, who's here on site. And now, to play us out, here's a couple more anti-Matt Canada cameos that cost less than $10. Jaden Flex here. This needs to be said. The Steelers need to fire their offensive coordinator. That's Matt Canada. It kind of reminds me of Cinderella. I mean, if you don't make this kind of decision, you're like Cinderella, but her coach was a pumpkin, so hopefully you'll make the right decision. Yo, this is from Mike Tomlin. You need to fire Matt Canada. That's a bitch-made right there. And you don't need him or anyone like him working for you, working around you, being a part of none of that shit you got going on, Mike. Matt Canada is not smash dick. He's full bush. I don't even know what the f*** that means. 